a giant crack more than 2,000 miles long is splitting open across Africa. Roads, houses, even schools are getting torn apart. Now, scientists think they've finally figured out what's causing it. An enormous column of scorching hot rock called superplume, rising from deep inside the Earth. And it's slowly pushing the land apart inch by inch. This isn't a small shift, though. The continent is breaking in two, and the clue to what's going on could be hidden thousands of miles away in Hawaii. And why does the United States suddenly have a role in all this? Hang on, hmm. we'll get there. First, it's important to know this isn't new information. Africa has been slowly splitting for about 25 million years. This is happening in a region called the East African Rift System. It stretches thousands of miles from Ethiopia down to Mozambique and is the largest active continental rift system on the planet. And by that, I mean places where the Earth's crust is being stretched and pulled apart, causing faults, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. Scary stuff, to say the least. Back in 2018, for example, a massive crack appeared near a small town just west of Kenya's capital, Nairobi. In some spots, it was about 65 feet wide. That's almost the length of two school buses parked one after the other. The whole thing was terrifying. It happened fast and left a trail of destruction. Roads were cut off, farms torn apart. People were on edge as the ground opened up beneath their feet. And I mean that quite literally. One man watched the crack rip straight through his home. He barely had time to grab a few of his belongings before his entire house collapsed. Sounds terrifying, right? Since it happened in the East African Rift region, panic spread fast. The media was all over it, claiming it was proof that Africa is splitting apart. People standing near the crack thought, oh boy, it's already happening. And many still believe that today. But that's not actually the case. At least, not with that particular crack. Because after the initial panic, videos and photos of it revealed clues that it wasn't related to tectonic plate movement. First clue, the two sides of the crack didn't match. Like trying to fit the wrong puzzle pieces together, they simply didn't line up. Second clue, the gap wasn't one continuous line. There was some kind of soil bridges in between. All this showed it was sudden erosion. I mean, some specialists believe the crack had once been filled with volcanic ash from nearby Mount Longanot. But then the region was hit with heavy rains. When water soaked through the soil, it washed the ash away, leaving the gap exposed. Problem solved. Even after the truth came out, it was too late. This event brought the whole Africa is splitting talk back. And here's the thing. Even though that crack had nothing to do with it, make no mistake, Africa is breaking apart. That's because the continent sits between two tectonic plates, the Somali plate in the east and the Nubian plate in the west. The problem is they're moving away from each other, and as they drift apart, the gap in the East African Rift keeps getting wider. Eventually, the Somali plate could split completely from the Nubian plate, creating an entirely new landmass, something on the scale of Madagascar or even New Zealand. You don't have to worry, mm. though. This process is super, super slow. So slow that none of us will see it finished. Experts say the continent is moving apart by about 0.3 inches a year in some places. To give you an idea, that's less than the length of your fingernail. So we can say this split will take millions of years, which is good news for the people living there. But that doesn't mean they won't feel the effects of this slow break. In fact, they're already happening. Take Ethiopia's Afar region, for example. Back in 2005, this area showed just how unpredictable the rift can be. In a short period, 420 earthquakes hit the area, opening up a massive fissure. What usually takes centuries happened in just a few days, completely challenging what scientists thought they knew about the speed of geological changes. Back then, the crack stretched for more than 35 miles, and life around it is still far from easy. Recent earthquakes destroyed much of the local infrastructure. 37 schools were damaged, leaving 5,000 students without classrooms. And that was just one part of the damage. As the tectonic plates keep moving apart, water will eventually flood into this region, creating
creating a brand new ocean, according to some predictions. Countries like Zambia and Uganda, which are landlocked today, could one day have a coastline. That could be great news for them as it might open up new trade routes and completely reshape their economies. Don't get too excited though. We won't be diving into the waters of this sixth ocean anytime soon. The splitting process will take another 5 to 10 million years. But it's tough to say exactly when, since big seismic events, like earthquakes, could make it all happen faster. So here's what we know. The Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate are in the middle of a dramatic tectonic breakup, slowly moving apart. Africa is breaking in two. Earth will probably gain a new ocean because of it. But until recently, we didn't know exactly what was triggering all of this. Like, yeah, those tectonic plates are moving. But why? I mean, is this massive geological process being driven by something happening in Earth's mantle? Or could it have a much larger, deeper source? Well, scientists think they may have finally cracked the mystery. They believe the continent is breaking apart because there's a deep mantle superplume, a huge column of hot rock beneath the East African rift system. Think of it as a massive subterranean hammer pushing upward, pressing against the crust, and slowly cracking it apart. But here's the interesting thing. Scientists reached that conclusion thanks to something that happened in a completely different part of the world, Hawaii. Under this U.S. state, there's also a plume of super hot rock rising from deep inside the planet. It melts the crust above it, and that's what fuels Hawaii's volcanoes. As the Pacific plate drifts over this plume, molten rock breaks through in new spots, creating volcano after volcano. Over millions of years, that's how the Hawaiian islands were formed. This Hawaiian plume contains noble gases like helium and neon. And you know where else scientists found those same gases? That's right, beneath the East African rift system. Bingo! That discovery backed up the theory that a super plume is driving what's happening in Africa. And we call it super because it might be massive. You see, these same gases have been found in volcanic rocks from Kenya all the way down to Malawi. So everything points to the existence of a single superplume that stretches from the Indian Ocean to the Red Sea, not a bunch of several isolated sources. If their data and research are correct, scientists estimate that this superplume beneath Africa likely starts at the core mantle boundary, which is located about 1,800 miles deep inside the Earth. While the East African Rift System's chemical signatures are similar to those found in volcanic rocks in Hawaii, they're not identical. The Hawaiian plume is thought to be a narrow, rising stream of hot mantle, a bit like the movement inside a lava lamp. Africa's plume might be shaped differently, more like a large mass of hot, buoyant material rising from deep within the Earth. As it reaches the surface, this hot material hits the colder, solid outer layer and spreads out pushing hard enough to crack it open and trigger intense volcanic activity across the region. And if this theory is right, we're watching a slow but unstoppable force that will redraw Africa's map and change the continent forever. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.